Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys a little bit about this really cool new update that dropped in last epoch. For those of you guys who don't know, I've been covering this game for the past couple of years. I usually come by and play it kind of like a Path of Exile League, but since it's not released yet, it's usually only for a couple of days. Um, so this go around, I decided to play an Acolyte, uh, going Lich spec, scaling damage over time. But before I jump into the character, I just want to show you guys the phenomenal patch that they decided to deploy. So if you log into the game now and you hit Shift F, it will bring up your loot filter. There is an in-game beamed in loot filter now, very, very, very customizable. Um, so for example, it's a mixture of like Grim Dawns and Path of Exiles. So like a super easy example is uh, let's just add a rule. So if I click add a rule, I can go ahead and try to figure out what I want. So let's add a condition for a, uh, let's just say an affix. Say I'm hunting a specific affix, right? Say the affix I'm hunting is, uh, I don't know, let's just see. Let's let's search uh, damage over time. Okay, so here we go. So damage over shows in here. We've got elemental damage over time. We've got generic damage over time. There's minion damage over time. Then there's class specific damage over time rolls that you can see in here. Uh, and then on idols, which is your charm system, you can see another like slurry basically of damage over time. Now what you can do is after you have selected what you want, you can then go ahead and choose if it's capitalized or not, so it kind of stands out more. You can choose to recolor how you want it to, to pop up, um, and then you can decide to set it via leveling, and then there's even more customization you can do within that. So as an example, uh, if I get an item that drops with a tier 4 affix, so the highest craftable is tier 5, uh, a tier 4 affix of what I'm looking for, it will drop as red on the floor. So I know that when an item on the floor is red, it's a potential crafting base for me to work on. Not a base as in a base type, but a crafting base as in it has the desired stats on it that I'm looking for. And then, of course, you can min-max within there and, you know, etc. So today, um, they also redid, or I guess yesterday, they redid the defense system of the game. And it's a little face roll right now. I'm sure they're, they're slowly trying to work their way into a more balanced state. But let me go ahead and show you guys the character that I have created. So... Uh, before I jump in, we're just going to talk about it real fast. So I've got a staff here. It's important that you use a composite staff base since it rolls between 15 to 150% damage over time. Um, on my amulet, I just have basically damage when channeling and damage over time. Uh, helmet is intelligence, whatever, random shit. Intelligence is a very strong stat for this build. Uh, chest piece, we've got 11 vitality, uh, useless life regen, and very good uh, fire and physical. Then on both of my rings, it's pretty much just resists. Um, health is very important. Then I've got uh, basically these gloves I just recently crafted. As you can tell with the eight intelligence that we're looking for, decent health roll, good hybrid craft. Found these really cool boots for me and they give us 80% increased healing effect, which is really good for my build. Uh, and then that's pretty much about it. As for our skills, um, I won't go into my idols yet because there's not really much Create, like I haven't really done anything crazy yet. The best idol I have is this one for 60% healing effect and this one for increased damage while transformed as this is a full transformation build. Uh, then, um, as for our passives, uh, Acolyte, I just pretty much went into Forbidden Knowledge, Stolen Vitality, and then Crimson Gluttony, and then Lich, you guys can just take a quick screenshot if you'd like. I'm not going to go over all this right now. And then, Skills. So we have Wandering Spirits. I'm still working on trying to find the best stuff for this right now. This is not really optimized, but this is for single target. Drain Life is our sustain and our single target. Aura of Decay is our giga damage steroid that we keep on forever. Um, our life recovers all off of this node. This node is pretty much what gets our build up and running. Uh, this allows Reperform to stay permanent. While in Reperform, we have, we're basically super, super tanky. The main thing to note from here is, while I have this aura up, mobs have minus 15 poison res. Every time you inflict a poison stack on targets, their poison res is shred, and then they lose poison resist equal to my intelligence, as I also lose poison res equal to my intelligence. But in Reperform, Per intelligence, I get 1% poison resist, so it offsets it, which is really cool. And then I basically just have transplant for mobility, and I will be replacing one of these with the seal skill, but we'll go into that later. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and jump into a 62 area. Okay. So, uh, we are going to transform, and Aura is on. 
So this is our drain life right here. Drain life is spec with uh, consumes health instead of life. Now the way this works is Reaper form constantly drains my life. Um, and then my aura constantly drains my life by putting poison on me. But because I have scaled so much increased healing effectiveness, the maximum health healing that you get from the aura, that percentage of missing health healed is not considered life regen. Therefore, even in shade form, I can sustain it, which is really, really cool. There is a bunch of awesome scaling that can be done with this character, but we have just barely scratched the surface as we've only played for a few hours on this guy. There we go. We also have incredible sources of leech, uh, which allow me to essentially stay full. And then if I were to somehow die in this form, as of right now, we're still in low-level maps, so... I probably won't die in the low level maps, but if I were to die in this form, in shade form, I will immediately get put back into my human form and I will immediately heal the full life, which is really, really cool. That is completed. Ah, oh, 41 health, not really necessary. Okay, open and... Oh, that's weird. Okay. So here you can see how much my shade degens, but how much I heal back from the aura. And then there you can see the form ran out because I took too much damage. So it popped me out and now I'm in regular form, which I can just toggle the aura off. Jump back into another one and then they just put the shade form right back on. Oh, got another point for this form actually. Reaper form. The next step, the, the big hunt is uh, looking for really good idols, as there are a lot of idols that scale with my poison aura. Um, I don't ever plan to make the poison aura do like a ton of damage. I mean, it does like an okay amount, but I don't think it's ever going to be able to compete with the damage of like my drain life. The other thing that's interesting is you have to be careful with how you play this character because scaling damage over time means that you're taking more damage over time because you constantly have poison stacks on yourself. So you need to find a balance in scaling your defenses and then scaling your survivability. Oh, here we go. So coagulation is a suffix that reduces damage over time taken. Uh, it's not very good for me though. I need a really good one. All right, and that's, that's pretty much all I'm really gonna be showing from last epoch for today. I will continue this character progression, but I will not continue it tomorrow. I may play for a few hours just because I believe Torchlight 3 is dropping. I'm not super excited about it, but it's finally fully released. So I'll most likely be checking out Torchlight 3 for, I don't know, a couple days a week, uh, depending on how good it is. And then we'll most likely jump back on the last Epoch. And then we'll be back in the Path of Exile when they drop the Stash Tab Affinity Patch. And don't forget, I have hired an editor, um, a really good friend of mine, and he is making real good editing content for YouTube for Path of Exile highlights as of a few days ago. So thanks, Skategoat. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the content he puts out. But anyway, 
Hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.